Hi everybody, I'm Katie and welcome to my third studio vlog. Today I'll be showing you how I made these clay pins for my shop. Before we start, I would just like to say hi to all my new subscribers. There are almost a thousand of you and I'm so grateful that you guys enjoy my videos. It makes me so happy. Anyways, clay pins are very easy to make. They just take a bit of fiddling and a little bit of patience. I'm going to show you guys two ways I found of sculpting the clay. My main goal here is to make the pins as uniform as possible so I'll be able to sell them in my shop. So I'm going to weigh out the clay first. They were a little too small at first so I weighed them again to 0.5 ounces each. So I'm rolling out the clay with my highlighter to get an even surface and then sketching out the shape of the pins to carve out. I'm taking my X-Acto knife and cutting out the design and using my fingers to smooth out all the edges. Now this process does take a little bit of time and I found another way to shape these pins faster. All you'll need are some scissors and aluminum tin, not tin foil. I'm using these trays you see when someone has their food catered or you could use like a chipotle to go top like the little aluminum foil top. Thankfully my mom never throws anything away so we had this lying around. Anyways you'll want to cut a strip of it. The size depends really on your design. Next you'll want to fold the top and bottom like I'm doing here. Be careful because it can be sharp so that's why I'm using a ruler to guide my hand. Then you'll want to connect the ends by pushing one side into the other and you have a custom cookie cutter. I guess you could use these for cookies too as well as pins. Um, so now you could shape it into anything you want. Roll out a slab of clay and then you could have a dozens of perfectly cut pins in less than a minute, unlike the other method. time to bake our clay. Read the instructions for your specific clay. For Sculpey, I'm putting it in the oven at 275 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes for every quarter inch of thickness. And now we wait and feed mochi. And since we have to wait for the clay to cool after, we can play with mochi more. Fantastic. Once the clay is cooled, I like to sand the pins to get a nice smooth surface. I recommend sanding outside so you don't get dust all over your desk and accidentally inhale any of this dust. And here comes Luna to help. Now comes the best part, painting. Definitely paint one side at a time to minimize mess because this is where I went wrong a lot of the time because I cannot wait for the paint to dry before I add more paint. 
I'm really impatient with this, so this was this part was really hard for me. Anyway, I mixed gouache with a little bit of acrylic, and this helped the paint dry a little faster and not move the paint when I'm painting over it. The party frogs are for my Draw This In Your Style on Instagram and to celebrate my shop opening. Go check it out on my Instagram page because I would love for you guys to join, and I'm choosing five winners, and they'll each receive one of these frog pins and some other goodies, so don't miss out. And also, since school is online, I wanted to make some of these mushroom school buddies. And I also want to do a line that's like coworker themed too, so don't miss out on that. And look how cute they are! So this is my least favorite part, but it's also the most satisfying part. Putting the resin on it. It's just a mess. Please, please, please do it in a well-ventilated area. I'm in my garage with the doors open. But do not let it hit direct sunlight prematurely or else the resin will cure and it'll probably mess up your pin. And I also realized after making one pin that I should be wearing a mask and gloves, so I put them on. Please wear a mask and gloves when handling resin. These fumes are toxic and can really be harmful for your skin, so please, please wear a mask and gloves. I actually ended up putting a medical mask under my cloth mask because the smell was really getting to me and I expect you all to already have a mask by now so please protect yourself and wear one when handling it. And speaking of masks, I hope you are all staying safe and socially distancing. Anyways, I didn't really have a technique when doing this. I have an old brush and a mason jar filled with rubbing alcohol to clean the brush uh, when I'm not using it. And I had these pots of glitter that I attached some clay to to hold the pins down so the resin on the sides didn't get messed up by me holding it. I basically just poured resin on it and cured it under the light for around 5-10 to 10 minutes. Then I let them sit out in the sun for an hour to make sure the resin is fully cured before I touch them so I didn't get my fingerprints all over them. And look how nice and shiny they turned out! After I resin the top side, I super glued the pin to the back and then left it to dry overnight. The next day I poured resin onto the back and when I'm telling you guys this was like a three day process, I am not lying. This takes a lot of waiting for a very small pin, but it's worth it. Now that the pins are done, I get to design the backing cards and I'm using Procreate. Cue the time lapse. I then put my designs in Photoshop and printed them out. And it wouldn't be a studio vlog without a nice cutting montage, so there you go. I literally love how these backing cards came out and now it's time to put the pins on them and then it's complete. I used the same glitter pot with the clay on top as a surface to push the pony part of the pin in so I didn't hurt my hand and they look so adorable on these backing cards.
then for the finishing touch, I designed a sticker for the packaging. So here I'm sitting on my bed. I'm not always at my desk. So I wanted to show you guys how it would look like when it's all packaged up for you guys when you adopt these pins. I didn't want to actually put the sticker on it because I still need to take product photos and all of that, but this is what it'll look like. And then that's a wrap on the pin making. Thank you guys all for watching. And there's a very limited amount of pins, so don't forget that my shop is opening on August 20th. And I'll see you guys soon. Bye!